And a good Tuesday morning to you. Troy Mulling here from the Storm Team 3 Weather Center. About 13 minutes before the top of the hour. First day of March. Good to see you. We do have a little bit of rain, snow, a little of a bit of a wintry mix moving through parts of the region right now into northeast Missouri, a little bit into southeast Iowa. We'll track that in more detail in just a second. But 30 degrees right now in Kirksville. There's the clouds. North northwest winds at 23 miles per hour in Ottumwa. 26 degrees, north winds 25 miles an hour. Factor in that wind chill, and it feels like it's about 11 degrees in Ottumwa and in Sigourney. Feels like 17 in Kirksville. Feels like 15 right now in Centerville. Big reason for that. We've got the strong winds today. Remember, they were coming from the south yesterday. That helped in warming us up. We made a high of 67, but today those winds, they're coming from the north. Some of these winds gusting close to 30 miles an hour today so it's a breezy one but here's the setup cold front moved on through so you'll notice that when you step out this morning the heaviest winter weather staying off toward our north it's completely out of here as we head into the afternoon hours we'll stay cold with the breezy conditions pretty calm weather into much of uh, tonight and into the day on wednesday but then look at what i'm tracking by later on in the day wednesday heading into thursday next round of rain and snow Looks like it may cause a little bit of trouble heading into later on this week. The timing on this looking like it'll be here around bedtime Wednesday night, lasting through the overnight hours and into drive time on Thursday. Still a couple days out, but that's what we're tracking as of right now. Four temperatures today. It's a chilly one by around 9 o'clock this morning. Upper 20s, low 30s. More of the same heading into uh, later on this afternoon by around lunchtime will be 34 Kirksville, 30 degrees in Ottumwa, holding very steady. We'll top out somewhere in that uh, 32, 33, 34 degree range by later on this afternoon. So that's about 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year into the 20s by this evening. And we'll have overnight lows into the low 20s. Some spots may even see upper teens by uh, early tomorrow morning. So over the next several days, we've got 43 on Wednesday. There's that chance of the rain and snow Wednesday night as we head into Thursday. Low 40s on Thursday, then back into the mid 40s on Friday, which is a couple degrees above normal. We'll continue that warm up into Saturday and more so even Sunday and Monday. Those overnight lows, 20s and 30s over the next few nights. So uh, it's a, not too bad as far as this cold snap. It's not long lasting at least. Which is nice. So that's good. Yeah. And I don't know. But I mean, I'm yeah. over it. Yeah. But, but hey, the weekend looks good. I know. Yet again, third week in a row. So. Yeah. And you know what happened uh, prior to three weekends ago? The, uh, <laughs> the ice cold polar plunge. Yeah. You were the one yes. that mentioned and pointed out that leading up to the polar plunge, the weekends were nice. Not too bad. <laughs> then that one in those couple days. Yes, yeah. and then afterwards it's been nice. Well, thanks for taking one for the team to allow us to have such great weekends afterwards. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we'll be right back.